Yo, what is up beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video. So here I'm actually going to show you guys a clip of how I died in the final hour. Obviously, if you missed the last video, go ahead and check that. So I was watching Cambo's live stream. If you don't know Cambo, he's like a really, really freaking good uh, PKer and he streams quite often right now. I've got quite many of his streams and one of his mods linked me the link to this video in the, um, in the stream. So I, uh, this is just what I want to explain or what I want to show why friend finder is broken in this game. As you can see, this person hashfuls has a lot of good people on their friend finder. You can see what the fuck seven there. You can see a couple of really high level breeds and they're just sniping one by one. But if you watch the video carefully, you're going to see how many hit splats are on me and how many people actually focus me. There is like entire fleet of fools members just running after me. This guy is suicide barraging, just getting my ass. Just look at how many people are bolting me. That's what I was explaining on my last video. And I'm really happy that they sent me this clip. So now you can see what I mean with friend finder being broken. And I really wish there was a way of for people to change that. All right, with that being said though, we started a season very, very late, obviously two days late, and honestly, season is already dead. There is a hundred people a world, and I don't even know if I wanna play it. But I think what I'm gonna do is I will completely scratch the account you see on the screen right now, and I will create a fresh one where I'll be playing a no donation deadman mode, meaning that I'm most likely not going to be gaming for a while. I'll have to make all of the money by myself, I'll do Slayer for money because I love Slayer myself and uh, even though I'm not going to be gaining many levels, uh, it might still be interesting because of the new introduced uh, drop table. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new account um, and then I'll show you the clips. I'll just AFK it at Sand Crabs and uh, get the stats to where I want them to have and then we're going to start. We're going to transfer the wealth from the account that I played until now to that account and then play it from basically no donations. So basically I made all my money myself on like agility pyramid and things that I could do all over again, but that would be kind of dead. So I made all the money on that account. I'll transfer all of it on this account um, and then I'll just uh, play on that account and I'll just do a bunch of Slayer. I won't be bothered with like range and shit, stuff like that until like later on uh, or if I feel like PKing or whatever. So should be a lot of fun still. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Alright, so as promised, we are doing uh, the new account. Uh, so these are the stats that I got AFK. I'm now getting my player up, obviously gonna make things a lot easier, especially in the guild, because the next goal is going to be in the guild. I unfortunately miscalculated a little bit, so magic is not 55 yet, but I'll get my magic to 55 the next cap, and the rest will go in strength. We can already wear the... Um, basically the Vesta stuff and I already have a Vesta spear so that's definitely gonna come in handy when I'm uh, go when I'm going for those defenders I'll be using Vesta spear all the way probably gonna die instantly for it I'll be attacked like all the time um, that is whatever like uh, I'm kind of hoping I'll get a lot of points and just hit in the back um, but yeah gonna be using Vesta spear for the most part and uh, it should be pretty awesome this guy hooked me up with an altar and even ran my bones for me so thank you i'm only hardcore iron man let's get this account to a nice slayer account I sold the stuff I got from that guy dying and that's pretty nice because I can now buy Barrow's Gloves and since Warriors Guild is absolutely camped right now I don't really have the need to go for the defenders just yet so I'll just go and do some Slayer probably um, obviously I'm capped so the spear will be better than a defender with a DCM so I'll just use a spear for now why not uh, once I do get a VLS or Statues Warhammer though I can always go and get my defenders so that shouldn't be an issue um, and I can grab my first task of Neve because I'm already 88, uh, 88 combat. No! Alright, let's see what the first ever task is going to be. Um, I first need to ask her about Slayer, as per usual, that's the generic things. Wow, can you teach me? And let's see what do we get. Uh, I mean... Ah, <laughs> uh, the usual. The Steel Dragons to start it all off. First task, fire giants. Not bad, I think. Should be fine. 
Hey, we got our first defender, bronze defender coming through, not bad at all. And here we go, the second one, iron defender, I only have 60 tokens left, so I need to get some more. Okay, so since I'm playing deadman mode, I kind of forgot, but I just re received a 90 slayer quite a little bit time ago. But five more levels to go, which is really freaking good. And uh, XP is gonna be a little bit slow right now. So after some calculations, I need to get about 160,000 experience each day to still make it into the 10th of January. Obviously, I will do a little bit more than that. So we should easily reach 95 slayer. Hey, there it is, finally, that one took a while. Uh, all right, we got a steel defender, beautiful. I need to get more tokens now though. All right, we're currently on steel, good luck us. What the fuck, man? There we go, black defender, nice. Me thrill defender, we need to get some more points now. Ooh, holy, I almost left without picking it up, that would be awkward. All right, nice. Two oh, there we go. We got it, finally. Adamant Defender. Let's get this rune. Mm. Hey, I just got Dragon Defender. What a timing. Goodbye, idiot. All right, Neve. what's the task number two? Blank Demons. Oh, oofed. All right, so I did an extra lap. Why? Absolutely no reason, but I kind of didn't realize that I'm already 50 agility. Now, the simple thing is getting some construction levels, and that is going to be so I can then make house, put it in the Polniv niche, and then do agility permit to 70 agility. Doing so will actually give me quite a little bit of money, and that is going to be the goal, obviously, make more money. The gear is looking nice, but obviously if I get caught by a major, I'm dead. Um, so... Yeah, we're just gonna train construction up really quickly. Shouldn't be, yeah, it shouldn't take me like over, I don't know, five to 10 minutes. Getting myself a house. Yes, please. There we go, teleport to house. And that should take literally no time at all. All right, the first pyramid top is uh, basically the first trip, let's say it's only gonna be 30K. I've been failing a lot, probably because of the room plate legs and plate body and full helm and the fact that I'm still low agility. However, once I'm done with a couple of more levels, I shouldn't be failing that much. I need this to protect myself from people attacking me and we're gonna make more money that way. That is how I originally made money on the other account. Uh, that's how I am able, was able to afford the initial gear was just doing agility pyramid. So now we're basically doing the same thing again. I wanna get 70 agility and uh, we're gonna get some nice money on at the same time basically, so yeah. Another trip, 70k this time, and up to 61 agility. That's gonna be really helpful once I get to 75 Slayer for Gargoyles. Easy money maker there. Um, but yeah, I'll do 70 agility all here. So now we actually have a decent amount of cash. This is what we lose if we die. It looks pretty good, man. Bank is getting up there. There we go, 70 agility coming through. Beautiful. Now I no longer need to run around like a headless chicken. We can now go and, uh, I guess, do more Slayer. Because Slayer is fun, yay! Another one, another insatiable blood veld. Dude, I prefer calling it Instatatable though. This one is the one though, 100%. The heart. Even though I don't even need the heart, but the heart. I don't have it on my Iron Man, so I'll get it on my main, 100%. <gasps> no way! No way! Nah! Nah! Uh-uh! Uh-uh! No! I refuse! To fucking believe that just happened. I refuse to fucking believe that just happened. I want this on my Iron Man, man. No, what is this, dude? Oh my god. What, well, another one? Another one? I'm not even trolling. What is... What is... What is... Ooh, what is happening? No, dude, oh my, no way. No, that's not even on Deadman mode. That's not even improved drop rate. That's like proper imbued heart. And I don't even have it on my Iron Man. Oh, no. That is tragic. What the fuck? All right, let's see, back to back. 
Oh my god. Alright, good, good. Holy shit, there is no way that just happened, man. Alright, it's pretty simple what I want to do right now. Uh, I am hardcore only. Iron Man is now helping us get basically 70 prayer. So that is pretty awesome. I might get a little bit over it, which is perfectly fine. Um, I've also been doing a little bit of Slayer here and there, uh, just mainly to cap my stats. And I'm gonna go a little bit harder once the Ancients come out. Probably most of the game is gonna quit by then, unfortunately, but... Uh, there is not that much I can do about that. But we can get this prayer then right now while bones are super cheap, that's basically the goal. So, um, boom. 70 will be no time and we're probably gonna get like 73 or something like that. And we can always return back to Slayer whenever we feel like it. And there we go, we just achieved 70. We cannot use Piety yet, but when we can, it's gonna be great. Um, these are the final 10 bones that I'm gonna use. And thank you, I'm only Hardcore Iron Man for helping me out, man. I appreciate it, dude. You are awesome. 70 prayer unlocked and uh, we might get some more in the future.